We're in the final hours of the 85th Texas Legislature, and that has attracted protesters who are packing the Capitol building in Austin. They're calling for lawmakers to undo the so-called Sanctuary Cities bill, but that wasn't the only commotion taking place inside. Channel 2's Phil Archer is in Austin covering this final day of the legislative session. He joins us live with the story tonight. Phil? Patch broke out among lawmakers on the floor of the House during that demonstration that allegedly included death threats. It pitted Democratic lawmakers against a Republican after he announced to them he'd called immigration officials to arrest some of the protesters. Hundreds of demonstrators came from all over the state to protest Senate Bill 4, known as the Sanctuary Cities Law. It allows local police to enforce federal immigration laws. We'd rather stand up and fight for it than stand down and conform to it. We, no matter what, we're going to fight it through. The protesters moved into the House gallery, forcing the House to halt for about 20 minutes and prompting state troopers to clear the gallery. While that was happening, there was a confrontation on the floor. Irving Representative Matt Rinaldi announced to a group of Hispanic legislators that he just phoned immigration officials to detain some of the protesters. He had made a phone call to ICE uh, that he was happy that uh, many of these people were going to be deported. And they don't know if those folks were uh, U.S. citizens or not. They were just brown. Rinaldi admits making the call. In a Facebook post, he said some protesters held signs claiming to be in the country illegally. He says they were being encouraged to disobey state troopers by Democrats on the floor. Rinaldi also claims Eagle Pass Representative Pancho Navarez threatened his life in the confrontation. You know, I may have put my hands on him, and I'm sure I did. Um, but again, it's just, um, it's a shame that that, has, that, ha that had to happen on the House floor. Uh, that he felt the need to to pop off the way he does, that he's that hateful and spiteful. In his post, Rinaldi said he told Navarez he would shoot him if he was attacked. Rinaldi declined to talk with us after the incident. Uh, we just don't really have any comments on it. He claimed on the Internet that he's now under the protection of state troopers. It's a good indication the fight over the sanctuary city's law didn't end with the governor's signature. And as the session nears its close, it's still not clear if lawmakers will be brought back into special session to consider another controversial proposal, the bill to restrict use of public bathrooms by transgender Texans. Reporting live in Austin, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.